G'day guys, John the Value Hacker here. I just wanted to weigh in on a bit of a viral debate that's going on at the moment. Don't know if you've seen the news, but um, there's a conversation about smashed avo versus house deposits going on. So a journalist by the name of Bernard Salt, I think his name is, wrote an article in The Australian on the weekend. And it's gone a bit viral because he made the mention that he can't understand how young people today especially are going into hipster cafes, spending $20 or $22 on some smashed avo on toast, plus the latte, and they should be using that money, you know, they should be more sensible and they should be saving that for a house deposit. So if you want to Google smashed avo house deposit article, you can find that. It's a bit of a laugh and a lot of people are weighing in these days now from all corners. Me Bank has launched a campaign where you can have your smashed avo and your house deposit too. They've got a special smashed avo mortgage for you. Um, other people, are, a lot of cafes are coming in with the uh, budget smashed avo special um, <laughs> for under $22. And yeah, it's, it's turned into a whole big thing. Um, but yeah, it, for me, I look at it from a different perspective, from the value hacker's perspective. And I think to myself, well, you know, I'm all about having choices, having options, really having both. Like, to me, it's not a conversation about having one or the other, having the smashed avo or the house deposit. Um, you know, it's more like, well, how can you have both? And there's plenty of deals out there and ways to get cheap cafe meals that if you want the smashed avo, sure, it's, you're a bit silly, I think, if you go out and spend $22 on it regularly. Um, it can be done cheaper and that money could be saved for something a lot different, investing, the future, a car, house deposit, whatever. The guy's got some merit. But, you know, what if you can have the smashed avo and it's only going to cost you half price? You know, interested? As I said, there's plenty of ways to do that. There's entertainment book vouchers, which have loads of uh, cafes where you can get buy one, get one free meals. Um, there's scoop on and group on deals. Quite regularly, uh, you'll find new cafes to try where they've got some great deal on for, for a breakfast with a coffee or for one, two or four people. Um, quite often you can stack deals with these and get discounts, like Groupon quite often has 15% off uh, across all their prices uh, on weekends if you use the app. And um, as well as that, there's hotels. I can show you ways where you can get hotel meals for 50% uh, off the cost of the food. So there's definitely ways to be able to do it. Uh, in fact, I'm really excited because November's coming up and for Amex credit card holders, that means Shop Small is coming back. And Shop Small is where if you spend $20 at a participating retailer that takes Amex and you spend with your Amex card, then Amex gives you $10 cash back to your account. Um, and it's just brilliant. Like I'm looking forward to basically doing exactly what I'm talking about. Go to my favorite cafe, pay by Amex, get the smashed avo on toast and a coffee. It's gonna cost me 20 to $25. Amex will give me $10 back. And hey, if I wanted, I could put that in the house deposit fund. So that's pretty good. Um, even better is when you combine that with say an entertainment, entertainment book deal. Um, and so you're getting two for the price of one to start with, then you pay by Amex and get another $10 back. Um, there's a whole group of my mates, my body surfing buddies who are looking forward to November. We've all got Amex cards and we're gonna to go to the local burger bar and they take Amex, so spend $20 on some burgers, fries and a drink and get $10 back, cool. And then we'll go next door to uh, have a couple of drinks and get our $10 back on those as well. So it should be a pretty good night out that one. But yeah, the point is you can have your lifestyle and you can have both. It's not one or the other. It's not the smashed avo or the house deposit. If you get your head around it, if you know where the deals are and you know how to save money, you can have both. You can have the smashed avo and save for a house deposit. Just make sure you're not paying full price for things. It's all about lifestyle for less. Chat soon, guys.